Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are talking about field buses. Last time we heard what a field bus is. Today we want to talk about the topologies, the different ways of how we can connect a node, uh, a logical way. So, I think, I guess, when we think about a bus system, we think about a line bus system. How does this look like? Well, we have different nodes. Okay, here are the nodes. These are the members of the of the bus communication, and those nodes are connected to each other, interconnected to each other with a line. This is a shared communication communication media everybody has access to. Usually here at the end we need a terminator. Uh, uh, this is not Arnold. This is there's a terminator. This terminator is terminating the line. It is usually some kind of resistor or something like this. And also here we have a terminator. This thing here is called line. Every node, these are these things here, yeah, this is called node, is connected to its neighbors and that's it. Yeah? That's a line. Yeah? What are the benefits of a line? It's simple, all right? There is no almost almost infinite number of nodes possible. Yeah? As a right number of nodes. Not limited. Not limited by design, okay? That's the benefits. Uh, yeah. What is the downside? Of course, there's a downside. If one node fails, uh, we already have a problem. If, if this no node is failing, uh, We have two separate, not everybody can communicate with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So we are, we dividing in two parts. Yeah. If one node is failing, communication is limited. is limited to, to a part of the bus system. Two parts. Here, if this one is failing, we divide this into division, into parts. And we can, this node can no longer communicate with this node. All right. So this is the line topology. Then there is another topology where we make this line and interconnect where the terminators sit to each other. And then suddenly we have a topology looking like this. And here the communication lines are interconnected to each other like that. This topology is called ring. Okay. This is a ring. The nodes are in a ring structure. What is the benefit of this? 
if one node is failing, let's say this is failing, this one can still reach this one, not via this direction, because this is failing, but in the other direction. So, uh, availability even if one node is failing. Yeah? Available even if one node is failing. All right, so we have overcome uh, and always number of nodes not limited. Okay. Number of nodes not limited. This is the upside of the ring. And what is the downside of the ring? Write it here. The downside of the ring? Well, we have to take care. We have to take care that a single message is not going in circles. Yeah. So we need a little bit more logic, a little bit more communication overhead. All right. It's a little bit more complex because, you know, I cannot just build a ring, put these two things together, because then a message would always run in circles. So the, the ring has to be terminated logically somewhere. All right. So the ring, there's more communication overhead, 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 <laughs> more communication overhead to prevent a message going round and round. This is how we write it. Going round and round. Okay. So this would then block. Huh? You can try it at home with your network router. Just plug in a cable on two ports. <laughs> if it's not a managed managed router or a managed mesh switch or something like this, it's not a good idea. Huh? We'll simply stop communication the whole network. This we have to prevent here, of course. Okay, ring topology. Both things huh, are not that easy to maintain or to analyze or analyze. Let's say, call it analyze. If there is some communication, pirate communication or something like this, uh, communication button which is going round, and you have to analyze the network, the bus system somehow. And this here does not make it easy. Yeah? And so there is also a topology which is looking like that. Where we are interconnected to each other like that. This is called a star. This is the star among the topologies. No, it's not the star among the topologies. It's just because it looks like a star. Yeah? So there's a single node inside wire the single node is managing the communication. Huh? So the single node, and that's already the benefit. Huh? Benefit. Single node in the middle. Huh? So it's easy to supervise the communication. Communication. Yeah, supervise, analyze, make uh, error analysis or super yeah. That's that's it. I just have to sit in the middle and I see whatever two parts are talking to each other. Yeah. If one node is spamming the whole network or something like this, I can see it simply by looking at the middle, middle node. All right. 
What is the downside? Uh, scalability. Downside is scalability because whenever I add a new node, I have to adapt also the middle node. Yeah. I write new node. Need to adapt the middle node. All right. So the middle node is limiting somehow with its capabilities the number of 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 nodes. Yeah. Limit limited number of nodes because it's it's this has to handle the whole communication right so this has to be a big strong node and even the biggest and strongest node has a limit that's it okay another downside if middle node is failing no communication at all yeah if middle node fails breakdown These are the topologies. Yeah. Sometimes they are by design of the field bus system. Sometimes we can even select. Yeah. You should know the benefits and, and disadvantages of the single simple topologies. And that's it. Yeah. What is the same in all topologies is that we have to manage somehow uh, how uh, the communication media is accessed. Right, because there is only one member, one node allowed to, to talk, uh, to send information. If two or more are sending information, then nobody will understand anything. That's not the goal. The goal is to transfer information. What possibilities we have to, to manage the traffic in such bus system, uh, we will hear next video. Okay? Next video, we're talking about access control. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.